Grade 4 Math, number 46. How to model factors. Yeah, we can factor model, model factors. So remember, a factor is a number that we multiply to another number to get a product. It's one of the two numbers we multiply together to get the answer in a times table problem. Every whole number, not a fraction, okay, whole number, every whole number that's, that's bigger than one has at least two factors. I'll show you. Two is bigger than one, right? Well, its factors are one and two because one times two is two. So its two has the factors of one and two. Three has the factors of one and three because one times three equals three. So they're factors of three. Four has a little more. 4 has the factors 1 and 4 and 2 because 1 times 4 is 4 and 2 times 2 is 4. So 1, 4, and 2 are all factors of 4. See how I didn't count the other one because we already counted a 2? All right, well, for 5, we have a 1 and a 5. Those are factors of 5. For 6, a 1, a 6, a 2, and a 3 are factors of 6. 7 has a 1 and a 7. Those are factors of 7. 8, the factors of 8 are 1, 8, 2, and 4. See how I'm getting those? This is really easy, isn't it? The factors of 9 are 1 and 9 and 3. Factors of 10 are 1 and 10, 2, and 5. So we can model these in an array of uh, model, modeled squares, okay, like this. So if we wanted to do the factors of 20, we could do this one, 1 times 20 squares. We've got 1 square going this way and 20 going that way. So we've got 1 and 20. We could do 2 and 10, 2 times 10, see? We have 2 going this way and 10 going this way, and that makes 20. So there's the 2 and the 10. We also can do 4 going this way and 5 going this way. And 4 and 5 multiplied together make 20. So there are factors of 20. What if we wanted to find the factors of 36? That one has quite a few factors. Look at how many factors it's got. We could do 1 times 36. We could do 2 times 18, two rows of 18. We could do three rows of 12. That's 36. We could do four rows of nine. Four times nine is 36. And we could do six rows of six because six times six is 36. So all of these numbers are factors of 36. And that is how you would model them. You'd put one number, one factor on one side, another factor on another side to get to the number you're trying to find the factors of. If you wanted to find the factors of 50, you could find the factors of, it would be like 5 and 10, because 5 times 10 is 50, right? But you could still find the factors for the 10 out of it, right? It could be 2 and 25. 2 times 25 makes 50, see? So there's all different factors, and to model them, all you have to do is get the squares and put one factor on one side, another factor on the other side, just like I did here. See? And then you can make models also. This is easy. You can do this. See you next video. We're going to keep talking about factors and multiples. Bye.